hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if any you're welcome my name is rosina sharon and today i am doing makeup on this very beautiful soul so we're doing a full face makeup on a chocolate to dark skin today and before we do that kindly subscribe share your thoughts on the comment section down below i'll be reading all of them kamakawa ida and if you like the video give it a big thumbs up with no further ado let us go straight into the video so we're going to start off by just doing her eyebrows first and uh, to line we're using the Davies and number three eyebrow pencil. And uh, on, a, on the upper side of the brow, we're going to leave a bit of space around the inner corner so the eyebrow appears a bit more natural. And uh, before we start filling in, we're just going to use a bit of Beko Primer. I noticed that I put a lot of the product here, so please uh, forgive me for that. But yeah, we're just going to use uh, the Becca Primer to brush through her eyebrows. So you see how bushy eyebrows are. I did not want to overline or make it look darker. So I'm just going to do a bit of hair like structures around the inner corner. On the other part, I will not do anything because her eyebrows are, you know, already super, super fluffy. So next, we're going to clean her eyebrows. And for her, we're using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And for this we're not going to start off right at the inner corner so the product remaining on the brush is what we're going to use around the inner corner because we don't want to have that harsh line you know showing around her the, the inner corner of her brow and then next to clean the upper side we're just using a foundation instead of a concealer The rule is to clean the lower side I use a concealer that is uh, two shades lighter than her skin tone. On the upper, uh, upper side I use a foundation that is closer to her skin tone so it is easier to blend after. Then after that before we start applying eyeshadow we are going to set her eyelids using the very same concealer we use to clean um, her eyebrows. Then always start from the lower lid going towards the upper lid so you avoid uh, putting too much product on the upper lid. And then uh, after that we're going to use a bit of an eyeshadow primer. We're using the P. Lewis eyeshadow base in the shade number 2 for this. Again start off from the lower lid going up so you avoid using too much product around the upper lid. And when you're using an eyeshadow base kindly use a very very little product. For her eyeshadow, the technique we're going to use today, I started off by doing a, a tap on her outer corner going outwards because I wanted that crisp line around her outer corner. And uh, for the first transitioning shade, we're going for this maroon from uh, Reina Beauty. And this is going to be applied mostly concentrated around the outer corner. Make sure it touches the tip if you want that crisp line. Make sure that eyeshadow touches the tape. And then uh, to blend that in, we're going in with an orange earth tone just to blend in the upper side of the first transition. Then after that, we're going to darken the outer corner and uh, make sure again while you're doing this, this touches the tip you put before because again, we are looking for that crisp line for this eyeshadow technique today. And uh, we're using a purple shade for this. Purple goes very, very well with darker skin tones. Purple and pinks. And then after that, we're drawing a cut crease. And uh, we are using the P. Lewis eyeshadow base in the number two. The one we used uh, to set our lids before, sorry. <laughs> and when you're drawing your cut crease, kindly tap it in. Tap 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 until you get the desired shape do not drag your brush around tap 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 until you get that curve you wanted to go for for her crease we're going to start off with a pink shade around the outer corner of the crease that is and then uh, going towards the inner corner of the crease we wanted to do a brighter shade around the inner corner so that is why we're concentrating the pink just from the middle part going towards the outer corner of the crease and then uh, again for the inner corner we're using a brighter shade make sure this brighter shade blends into the pink 
don't uh, let it look like uh, just two shades you know separate shades and one line in between them make sure you blend that in and then uh, we're just going to draw a white line on the crease just to emphasize the crease you do not have to do this but i wanted to do this for her so after that we're just going to draw a line as close to her natural lash line as possible for her we're not going to do a wing eye today because already the tip is going to do magic for it so we don't have to emphasize it with the wing eye again and then uh, after oh you can see her eyes are looking beautiful and then that is when now we're going to remove the tape and uh yeah <laughs> i love how uh, the whole eye look is looking then after that is when we're going to apply her falsies and we are placing that as close to her natural lash line as possible around the outer corner just lift it a bit so it does not uh it does not drag on the eyes into the eyes too much sorry <laughs> and then after that now we're going to do a cream eyeliner on her waterline i normally do this before a foundation so i don't mess with the foundation when i start doing the face after and then i wanted to smoke out um the liner so for her because i wanted that pigment to be seen i'm starting off with a nice shadow base and then uh, placing the purple on top of the found uh, i mean on the eyeshadow base we used and you can see the pigment is going to look amazing when you do this and again i normally do this before foundation because i don't want to mess up with the foundation when i start doing her face and just look at how beautiful her eyes are looking yo <laughs> and the purple the purple is flattering her face her skin tone so so much i like it so moving on to the face we're doing uh, the ordinary hyaluronic acid first before we apply a moisturizer this is to be done on her bare skin okay and then again allow it to set first before you apply moisturizer so after that is when we move to moisturizing and uh, i am using the CeraVe moisturizer this one comes uh, with a uh, um, sunscreen in it already so yeah it is amazing and then again allow that to set after you have applied it allow it to set fast before you move on uh, to doing a primer after the foundation has set we're moving on to primer and we are priming mostly the t-zone area that is uh, the forehead going down to our nose mostly concentrated around the nose from the corners although because people produce oil the most around at these areas and for primer tap it in until it is absorbed into the skin and then again allow it to set first before you move on to applying foundation And then after the primer has set, now we move on to foundation. For her, I'm using a Maybelline Superstay in the shade Dark Cocoa. And uh, to apply, we're using a brush. Please avoid applying fresh product around the under eyes and the corners of the nose. So when you're blending in the foundation, avoid this, those two areas. The under eye, corners of the nose. And for application, tap, tap, tap until it blends in. so all the products that i've used on this uh, particular look today is going to be on the description box so kindly check the description for all the products and under the forehead start off by blending just above the eyebrows going up so you avoid using too much product around the hairline region as you can see we have not applied any product around her under eyes and the corners of the nose so after we have blended that in we're just going to apply a bit of a cream blush for her i'm actually using a lipstick it works like magic also if you do not have the cream blush you can use a lipstick for darker skin tones red undertones work best so we're just going to apply that on her the higher chair so the higher <laughs> points of her cheeks sorry and then after that now is when we're we going to highlight <laughs> using a, a concealer that is two shades lighter than her skin tone for her we're using the illegal pro concealer in the shade a beautiful bronze 
and when it comes to highlighting the under eye just place the product on the inner corner and outer corner alone that is enough don't use too much product to blend that in we're going to use a damn beauty blender to blend so we're going to blend in her under eye bridge of the nose and forehead when it comes to highlighting under eye bridge of the nose and forehead do very very little product when you're doing this for the forehead highlight less with a bigger forehead highlight more with a smaller forehead and then after that we're going to set in the areas where we highlighted for her i am using the maybelline fit may finishing powder in the shade number 360 works well for darker skin tones so we are going to set in all of the areas we highlighted with this uh, finishing powder you can actually use a finishing powder if you do not have a setting powder maybelline fit me finishing powder works like magic to set so yeah <laughs> make sure you set in all the areas you highlighted that is under eye bridge over nose and forehead make sure you set all those areas in and you can also set the area around her lips if uh, you want to so next we're just going to put a contour starting off with uh, her forehead when it comes to uh, contouring the forehead start off from the hairline going uh, down and then uh, for her cheeks today for darker skin tones i honestly do not prefer um do not contour per se i normally just prefer bronzing instead of the whole contour thing when it you bronze up her face for darker skin tones they look amazing it brings up uh, so much warmth into their face and they look you know superb <laughs> to say the least so next we're just going to contour her nose using a smaller brush start off just below the eyebrow going uh, down make sure the two contour lines are the same the same uh, there is the same space in between the two contour lines from up going down and then after that to clean that make sure you blend in using a cleaner brush so you avoid having uh, harsh contour lines around the nose area and for the upper side you can blend in to the eyeshadow and then after that we're just going uh, to um go through her whole face with the finishing powder for her i'm using the maybelline fit me in the shade 375 going through the areas where you set with the finishing powder and then uh, after that we are going to uh, set her whole face uh, using the elf dewy setting spray and then uh, next we're going to highlight i am going to consider the highlights around just uh, the tip of her nose not so much around her cheek area because uh, you know the bronzer did magic <laughs> and uh, maybe some on the cupid's bow and then after that we move on to the lips i just started by lip lining using a black lip liner and then I applied a bit of a nude shade and then applied a pink undertone you know a nude uh, lip with a pink undertone just on the lower lip alone just on the lower lip this technique works like magic for darker skin tones so do darker on the upper lip brighter on the lower lip then do gloss it works like magic and that would be it for me today guys thank you so so much for watching i'll be uploading videos every single day for the whole of january so please if you see my video give it a like okay let me know what you think about this whole look in the comment section yeah that would be it for me today thank you so so much for watching i'll be seeing you in my next video bye hey, she looks beautiful